Bar Month at On Milwaukee, and today we're talking bar atmospheres. I'm joined again by On Milwaukee uh, reporter Molly Snyder. Here with us, Molly, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having um, me. So, you know, the atmosphere, the vibe of a bar plays a big deal. It really does, and there's a lot of different places to choose from, and the vibe of a bar just keeps getting more and more important uh, as there becomes more and more bars with different vibes to, to choose uh -huh. from, which, uh, you know, makes sense. But the number one place that our readers picked was Camp Bar as hmm. their favorite atmosphere. And we also saw other another bar, Boone and Crockett, that made the top five, and these have similar atmospheres in that they're like up north, kitschy up north, bars and taverns where there's a fireplace, taxidermy, uh, deer heads on the mm. walls, uh, chandelier, uh, serve old fashions, like that whole vibe, uh, maybe slightly more upscale version of uh -huh. that vibe, but we see that we Wisconsinites who live in the city really love to have that taste of northern Wisconsin up north. It's a nice escape, it a is. temporary escape. It is. Mm -hmm. It's great in winter too. Again, all the camp bars have uh, fireplaces. Uh, so it really adds like a coziness to it that mm -hmm. we're missing too in the winter time. So definitely we're not surprised to see that. Uh, the editors we picked this year is our favorite atmosphere at Random. Mm -hmm. At Random is in Bayview. It's a mid-century bar that really did open in the 50s. So it's been uh, very, very kept uh, up to the same period of it, decor, uh, vibe. It has faux fireplaces. It has swag lamps. It has booths. It has even drinks that are from more were more popular in the 50s made with ice cream and such so it's really a chance to like step into history a little mm -hmm. bit while you're you're drinking? That's really cool. Yeah, yeah it sounds like a good yeah, place. Yeah. So we also saw that uh, Boone and Crockett, as I said, and in the former Boone and Crockett space, uh, Lost Whale made the list as well. And they're a 70s kind of swanky, uh, chic, shabby chic, funky vibe that uh, people seem to really like as well. And of course, we saw Barnacle Buds as best atmosphere. And that's just because it's one of the only bars that you don't even feel like you're in Milwaukee. It's all pretty much outdoors. Uh, people have often said, I feel like I'm in Florida when I go to Barnacle Buds. <laughs> you know, that is just a really nice escape. And it really does change your entire day if you if you get to check it out in, on a sunny day. And with people trying to avoid travel, this might be a nice escape then. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Molly. Yeah. Look